Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a Series 4 doll from Rainbow High. And you know what? It's Mila Barrymore. I did not think I was going to pick her up, but I thought that she had a pretty good face when I saw her in store. Also, the checkout employee was nice enough to price match her to other dolls who are on sale, so I got her for a very low price, which I'm pretty thankful for because I'm not too much of a fan of the doll itself, but I do like the pieces that she has. And you know what? I think I might um, just swap her eye color out because I think that this light purple is just not doing her justice. I was already looking at other dolls to swap her with, so I was looking at like darker purple eyes to go with her, and I was like using an app to just like edit what it would look like if she had like brown eyes and dark purple eyes. And I feel like the darker the eye color, the better. And so I think like. I might get another Crystal Bailey to swap eyes with because I really love my Crystal. I love all my dolls, so I don't really want to mess with their eyes too much. I've only done it once with uh, Kaya Hart and Bella because I cannot stand Bella's eyes. Like, they were just bothering me for some reason, and so she looks much better with the uh, brown eyes. Anyways, uh, back to this doll. I feel like it is time to check her out. So, the top of the box says, let your true colors shine, and then the YouTube sticker. And over here, it is just the character art for all the girls from series 4. And then on the back of the box, it has the full character art, Rainbow High, where creative students with style use glam, grit, love, action, and moxie to make their performing arts and fashion dreams come true. So that is everything on the back. The side of the box has her focus, and it's, it's not a sticker, it looked like a sticker. <laughs> and it, it says that she is a photography focus. The top of the box has this little window you can see her hair and i thought that she had a pretty good part line i don't know if you can see from the the plastic but i thought she had a pretty good part line and here's the bottom of the box if you're curious to get her in store here's her barcode all right let's go ahead and open her up this fell out i don't know what this is but it Came from, oh, it looks like this. Um, you can see that kind of just fell out. Um, so I guess I have a duplicate. I don't know where else it would go because there's a duplicate part on this side. I don't know. Alright, so here is Mila out of the box. This is everything that she comes with. It was pretty simple to take out since her second outfit is just <laughs> very minimal pieces. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at her. Uh, the first thing I noticed was that her hair was crunchy and full of gel, which did not have to happen. Like, she's got straight hair. I don't know why they gave her gel. It's just so unnecessary. And now it's just like another thing to wash. Uh, could have been nice to open up the doll and have nice soft hair, but instead there's just this gel. So that's the first kind of bummer. Um, but it was interesting to see that her hair is actually full of different colors. I didn't think it was going to be more than just maroon. But you can see it's like a mixture of purples too. Here, if I brush out the hair, you can kind of see like that combination of colors where there's some maroon and then a few lighter red pieces and then like a purple and a magenta. It's all, it's like three different shades of purple and red in here, which is interesting. Um, I wasn't expecting that, so I kind of see where they got the purple eye idea from, I guess, or if they're just trying to make it all, you know, be cohesive. But I wish that these were darker purple eyes, like in her animated series character, like, she looks so much prettier with darker pupils. I don't know why they keep giving the dolls such light colored eyes, when you can see that the darker ones look so pretty, like, there can be dolls with less than white eyes, you know? Like, this is so bright and unnecessary. And kind of demonic. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks kind of scary, doesn't it? Like, she seems lifeless. Okay, so moving on from the hair and going to the makeup, um, you can see that her eyebrows are also a maroon color, and that there is white and maroon kind of eyeshadow, where it kind of goes from like a lighter 
shade to a darker maroon red and then just white and it goes with the red again under her eyes and then she's got a little bit of blush on her cheekbones and then like a bright red kind of lipstick that goes with the maroon in her kind of two-piece outfit um on her sides she's got these interesting earrings i didn't see these earrings before where it's like a snake holding on to an r coming out of her ear and then on the side it's a snake holding on to an h so that's creepy <laughs> so that's kind of interesting and edgy um then moving on to her outfit which is pretty edgy itself um she's got like this vest type of thing where it has a faux zipper and some black pleather collar with a pleather little belt loops that are black then the rest is in like this maroon and it's got this belt that does come apart does it let's see i don't even want to test it because i don't want to take it out that's that's too hard to put back in after playing with other rainbow high dolls so it's like mm -mm, nope it's not easy to change and so i'm going to keep the belt on um but it is velcroed in the back then the skirt is also velcroed and has this kind of ruffle going on in the bottom also made from the same material as the top and it has some more oh wait a second i didn't notice this so the zipper on the top has an r charm and then the skirt has this h charm you can see there but it looks like the h is kind of filled in a little bit on the top well that's cool i like the rh thing going on so that's neat and then more faux zippers and then oh wait no it definitely did come out okay so remember when i was unpackaging it ah oh, so this was like attached to her hand and it fell out that hmm okay Wait. okay so that's where that came from um then around that same area there are a couple of studs that are glued into the skirt and it looks like a couple fell out over here Underneath the pleather outfit, there's this black mesh long sleeve shirt. And let's check it out where it kind of stops. Does it, is it all the way? Yeah, so it's kind of a longer kind of shirt. So I'll take off this top part a little bit after checking out the leggings. So these are really cool leggings. I really like how these are covered in R's and it has this really nice look to them. I think that's really pretty. Then down here are her really cool boots. I think these are pretty rad new boots. I like the different shape. And I don't see Rainbow High written anywhere. There's no R or H or anything. So it's a win, I'd say. Because not everything needs to be covered in those letters. I think it's enough having it up here. So yeah, all right, now let's go ahead and take off this part. All right, so I just took off the other top and this is what it looks like underneath. So there's this black part that goes under the shirt that is attached. And this whole shirt is actually pretty long. Here, let's show you the length. It's a bit longer than I would have liked actually. It's a little baggy, I think. Like, I don't know, the, I feel like it wasn't cut correctly or something. It's just kind of uneven. And a little too long on this bottom part. I feel like it could have just ended right there. Um, so nothing in the back. Just kind of stops at her sides. And then this is just the bottom. All right, now let's put her in her second outfit. All right, so here is Mila in her second outfit. First of all, I feel like this was an awkward fit. Um, like the collar isn't on. Correctly. I don't know if it's just sewn strangely, like the the shape of it is just off with the seam, but it was just like looking kind of weird around her shoulders and so like, um, okay, I guess she's got kind of a awkward shape in this, so I don't know. It's also a really thick fabric, like when you just hold the dress by itself, it felt really heavy, um, but not, okay, not really heavy, but like heavy in comparison to like normal Rainbow High clothes, it just felt very thick and you know there's a lot going on on here including all these little balls that are sewn on like these little white pieces which uh fell off a little bit when i was putting on the dress but 
this is what it looks like all over there's like this immense amount of embroidery all over the piece and then it's just like trickled with all these little white dots um it's a very interesting choice i don't know what style they're trying to mimic with this it does make her seem very old though i will say that it just kind of looks like an old style and it's like like an, what an old woman would wear, I would say, rather than like a teenager going to high school. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just missing what the fashion reference is. Um, but these look very fashionable and very beautiful. I did notice that um, one of these boots has the, the studs and the other doesn't. It has these two right here and that's it. While this one has like a couple studs on the sides, you know, like this one just missing it um so that's a little bit of a bummer and these aren't that easy to slide on like this is still like a pleather like a tight pleather material so i don't know who who the heck was out there saying this was easy <laughs> um it's definitely not like a sock like the other fabric boots that have been coming out um but i like i like how they look this is very detailed and very beautiful embroidery i would say like probably the coolest piece that she comes with for sure so these are what the soles look like so that is the entire thing oh also when i was looking at her then i noticed that her eyeshadow actually has sparkles in it i don't know if you can see but there are sparkles in her eyeshadow and her hair feels a lot better after brushing it so i don't know if i really need to wash her hair at all just brushing it seemed to be doing the trick um yeah so let me just try this on top and i'll i don't know maybe just jump to the final thoughts if it looks ugly <laughs> Um, Alright, so it's not the worst, but not the best. Um, it was also really hard because <laughs> uh, it's not not really connecting in the back. This fabric is just too thick to pull this over. Even though it was even over the uh, shoulders, I was just like not wanting to go through. I don't know, the hole is just too small. But this vest thing doesn't really fit over this top or this dress. So. All right, so for fun, I just put her in this outfit that mixes the pieces from the first outfit together with the boots of the second outfit. And I think this is definitely the most youthful look out of everything that we've got going on. Um, I think this is more flattering on her body. I think it's not as cluttered and awkwardly shaped. It's nice. Also, I tried putting these under the boots and it's not a task I recommend. <laughs> this is really snug so this is kind of unnecessary to put it together since this is like already so high up so like why even bother to have like a sliver of this appearing like even with this dress like especially with this dress where the boots just barely go under the dress so definitely don't recommend that I never really pointed out her nails but you can see that her nails are this maroon color that matches her whole color scheme and you know, I'm glad that we finally got a doll that really is like one color and not a ton of different shades of the same color. Like even though she's got like purple in her hair, there aren't like random purple and like light red pieces in the outfit. It's just like all really maroon and you know, black, but you know, it goes well together. So I think it's cool to see another monochrome doll. And then when I found one with like a really nice paint job, I was like, okay, this is like the one and only. <laughs> so I picked her up. Um, yeah. Right, so overall, I really like the color and that's what kind of lured me in. Uh, these little hair rings were got, piqued my interest at first, um, but in the end they just kind of don't go too well with her head shape. I think that's just what's bothering me the most is this head mold. I'm not a fan of this little chin and big eye look. I think it looks kind of odd on her, especially with the dark red lips and just overall granny aesthetic <laughs> I don't know it's not it's not really what I was expecting when I saw that picture of the hair yeah and so this is interesting I like these pieces but kind of let down by not noticing that the studs are missing on all the boots and they're just kind of uneven now so it's like, mm, a little bothersome um I feel like I was <laughs> like kind of clickbaited i don't know like i feel like i was lured in by these little hair rings and then disappointed by the rest of the look that doesn't make sense i don't understand this rocker granny velvet kind of aesthetic that they have like the velvet dress is interesting and all but why did they go for it <laughs> it's also pretty disappointing that 
this was taken off the skirt when I was just taking her out of the box. It just straight up fell out and there was nothing I could really do about it. I mean, I guess I could try to glue it or sew it back in, but that's more work than I need. Um, and I like this overall color, you know, like this berry stuff. I think it's really cute, you know, very sweet kind of color. It's just a weird execution, I'd say. Um, but I think these pieces are going to be great to use on other dolls. So that's probably the what's going to happen, you know. Um, I, I really might fiddle around with her eyeballs. <laughs> like I told you, I did mess with Kaya and Bella's eyes. So this is what they look like swapped. You know, Bella's just always going to look weird to me. But Kaya is always the best. She's just wonderful. Um, yeah, but so I might just straight up take these Bella eyes and put it on her. Just, like, I think I have to use the bigger eye shape. And I can't use one of the smaller eyes, like on different molds. So I think I have to swap out with this kind of head mold. Yeah, but she's, she's just going to be a little bit of work. Um, I will say that she probably doesn't need her hair washed anymore because just brushing it kind of made it a lot softer. Yeah, so I'm gonna fill around with different hairstyles. I don't know, maybe curl it or something. I don't know. I don't know. This, I feel like there's just work to be done with this doll, whereas other Rainbow High dolls are like perfect as they are, you know. And so this one is just a little different. Um, so that kind of wraps up my Mila Barrymore review. Thank you guys so much for watching this review, and I hope to see you around. Bye.